Hello, Darkman Da here. So today is Saturday, and I'd like to do a show called Upcycle Recycled Wearable Art. Upcycle Wearable. Upcycled <laughs> Recycled Wearable Art is just a show I do where I encourage you to take whatever recycled materials you have and make something new from it. And that's a way of luring all the trash that ends up in the landfills. There's clothing all over the fucking place here in California. You see shirts, socks, shoes too, all over the fucking place. People just are are crazy right now. <laughs> and they're just throwing their shit everywhere all over the place. And a lot of the thrift stores that you donate your um your clothing to, they won't even um it may not even sell. And then it ends up in a landfill. So let's do our best to upcycle and recycle the fabrics that we have as best we can. So what I wanted to show you is an update on some of the beads I've been making because I've been wanting to make beads, more fabric beads so that I can adorn, say this, what I have on right now. <laughs> um, see the beads on here is, is bead work that I've done uh, on it so far. Um, it's a dress. <laughs> so um, it's kind of rough, but I like wearing it even though it's not com totally completed. But, um, yeah, that's the kind of thing I'm doing is making fabric beads in order to finish up projects. And one pro project in particular that I have that I'm wanting to finish up that I've been making beads for is a fabric purse with dolls, two dolls on it on either side. And they're both conjoined twin dolls. So let me just show you without further ado. Don't knock anything down. <laughs> but here's one side of the doll with the two conjoined twins on here. I mean, one conjoined twin. <clears throat> and here's the other side of the doll with another set of conjoined twins. It's all hand sewn, hand embroidered. The pentagram representing protection once again. This is a recurring thing in my art n nowadays because I feel like a lot of people can use some protection. And here's the strap. What the strap I'm going to do is bead the strap, add fabric beads on it. So, um,. But I've got all the fabrics that I've been using uh, to make this purse. Like I use, I save this mesh stuff that you use. That usually when you go to your produce area and you see your lemons are, um, or oranges, citrus are packaged in these mesh bags. I saved it and I used it for the fishnet on the the breast area, and on the back, on the breast area on here, as well as her fishnet stockings. So yeah, I, I'm very detailed when I do my art. So what I'm going to do, I lined the inside of this purse. So I lined it with a nice uh, soft fabric. Half poly, it's like a poly cotton fabric. Uh, so if you had to wash this purse, um, I would definitely s suggest spot cleaning it, not like putting it in the wash machine. Because that would totally fucking ruin it. Um, so yeah. All I need to do is, like I said, bead the ha the handle with the fabric beads and then put a zipper on the top so it would enclose it. So it'll be a purse that's enclosed. A conjoined twin pentagram purse. So yeah, it'll be very padded. So if you wanted to put something that's glass in there, you can put that in there too. So and it'll protect with the pentagram on there to protect it from getting stolen. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. I've been working on lately. And I already finished something that I, a purse that I put on to my Etsy shop that is available. And I want to show you that before this video is done. But I'll show you the beads right now that I've been working on to adorn this purse. I did talk to you guys about, I think, on one of my channels, either this one or the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, that I, um... <clears throat> that I decided that I wanted to make uh, symbols on top of this fabric that I got from the thrift store. Uh, and you'll see that in my thrift store haul. Let me see if I can grab that fabric right now. It's a oh, okay. So here we go. This right here, this is the fabric that I got. And so I decided to make fabric beads out of it because I like the black and white pattern. Uh, and that's what I did with this one. But what I also did was embroidered a pentagram on top of it. So I'm going to do that on the other side as well. And it's a fabric bead. See that? 
made from fabric. I thought it would be kind of cool to um, incorporate a symbol on top of something that already has a design on it. So yeah, and um, I'll show you a few other of those beads that I'm working on too to go with this purse. This one right here. There's a pentagram bead, black and gold. Um, I've also been trying to make enough of these so that I can sell them as uh, as beads, as uh, dreadlock beads, because this would go on a dreadlock, on a dreadlock, no problem. Because look at how big the hole is. So um, I have been working on not only just having uh, beads to adorn these bags that I've been finishing up also making beads to adorn dreads so that I can sell a bunch of dread beads so in the meantime I've been putting them in these little in this little bag I also made this little monstrous looking bead <laughs> yeah kind of weird looking <laughs> but yeah a um, little monster bead but that can go with this too so I've been just making beads to um, adorn handbags right now because I got a ton of handbags that I started and I want to finish them. And this is one, handbags and purses, and this is one of them, one of the many. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to show you how I'm doing on that. And also, um, this handbag, I mean this purse that I've been working on a handle for, this is really turning out nice, I think. I just need to uh, make more beads for this handle as well. So, And it'll be one of those purse uh one of those upcycled ipsy bags that I turn into a purse. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So if you didn't see it before, this is the um, this is the, the ipsy bag that I converted into a purse using my own fabric beads, handmade fabric beads on it, my own uh, homemade fabric doll on there, and my own embroidery that I do on here. So. Here it is. So that's what happens when I convert an Ipsy bag into a purse. And this is on sale on my Etsy shop. So please do check it out. Every time you buy something from an Etsy shop, Etsy shop, <laughs> it's Etsy shop, you get a free handmade gift. So, so that is that one handbag. And then here's another one that I actually completely finished by um, adorning it with some of the beads that I made from that fabric that I showed you. And this is already sold. I'm going to be sending it off to a really cool lady on the 1st of, April, uh, of August. So thank you, cool lady, for for buying this from me. But it's <coughs> Black God, Black Goddess Pentagram Protection uh, Purse. So yeah, that one I finished. So I'm trying to finish up these projects and move them out because um, I don't have much space in, in the home that I'm staying in. I'm staying in an apartment, so there's not much space like I had when I lived in a house. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm trying to finish things up and sell them on my Etsy shop or sell them outside of my Etsy shop. This purse is being sold outside my Etsy shop because some people don't like, some people like the convenience of being able to pay how they want to pay or or do it outside of that company. So I'm really cool in that regard. I can do it that way. And here's another purse that I finished. Um, not completely fabric beaded, but completely polymer clay beaded. And it's on my shop right now. It's like a Day of the Dead inspired candy skull like purse. Polymer, polymer clay beaded purse. So all the polymer clay beads on this purse were made by me. And it was a long process because I had to hand sew the purse first, the structure of it, and then I had to make each individual bead. I made the doll as well. So this I showed you recently on a show, and now it's completely done and finished, and it's listed on my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, go check it out. Um, if you're interested in buying it outside of my Etsy shop, contact me through my email, and I'll leave that information in the description below. So that's all I got pretty much for you for today for uh, upcycle, recycle fashion. Um, I hope this inspires you guys to continue to recycle and upcycle your fabrics that you have. Um, it could be anything, old t-shirt, old pair of jeans. You could turn that old pair of jeans into a handbag or a purse or turn it into a, a shirt. 
shit, you know what I mean? Whatever your imagination brings about is what you can create with recycled fabrics. So thank you so much for joining me for Upcycled, Recycled, Wearable Art. Um, have a very creative Saturday. And feel free to let me know what creations you're making that are of an upcycled, recycled uh, nature dealing with fabrics. <clears throat> and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And brightest blessings to one and all. And I'll see you soon. Whoops. <laughs>